Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Dusk's Tale. We are here with Dusk and Bridget in the town of Deep River, with the intention of returning to Stewartstown today. Beneath the surface to whatever it is that waits for us beneath. We tested ourselves in the last episode against a relatively decent sized tort. The amount of bodies on the ground right now from the bird's eye view might not uh, attest to the amount that we fought, but there are many here, at least 40 regular zombies amongst these piles, and uh, there are some others still around. I think it's probably about time that we ask Bridget to uh, start to pulp these corpses once again, and um, yeah, hold off. I mean, I guess you should be pulping them, correct? Pulp zombies, if you like, done issuing orders, and so hopefully we do have a little bit of uh, yes, pulping going on as we have this uh, creepy crawler making its way towards us, shrieking out. We uh, make sure that we silence that one, and we've also spotted a shriekling and this uh, yeah, horrific thing stumbling towards us. Looks like we're gonna have to deal with those as Bridget attempts to deal with the others. So, before we move on, there's going to be a little bit of uh, work to be done here. Nothing that we can't manage. We're just doing some pretty solid work there. We'll go ahead and just start smashing some of these corpses as the tough zombie gets closer. The good thing is we have a partner now that is actually <laughs> quite dangerous. Uh, Bridget is very, very good at what she does. Uh, we know this because Bridget, in a previous life, or a previous version of Bridget, uh, nearly ended the life of Brand. So, yeah, she knows what she's doing. And with that, that's this group all nice and pulped. We are very hungry at this stage. Wouldn't mind having a little bite to eat. We'll have to wait until we get back, I believe. I don't think we've got much on us. We've got some spiced mead and some peanuts that we aren't going to be able to eat. Yeah, that's okay. We'll wait until we get back towards the vehicle before we deal with any of that. But seeing as we have dealt with most of these bodies, it's probably worth us making sure that they don't get back up. Bridget, I know you're trying to help, but you're kind of getting in the way here. Let's just keep on walking through, smashing these as we do, and kind of dealing with harmonica holders as we do as well. It's funny, the harmonica holder is something that does seem to pop up quite a bit as a error, so <laughs> I assume perhaps the harmonica and its holder have suffered from the nested update. We don't know, <laughs> but we're able to continue all the same, and so we will just making our way through the rest of these bodies that are here. And just like that, I feel like we are okay. So we're gonna make our way back up towards our vehicle. We're gonna consider having a little bit of a rest as well because I feel like we have earned one. We're not gonna put our claws away just yet. We're gonna wait until we get back up towards uh, the vehicle. Okay, that's a bug blood, so we're safe to do that. A tool belt, okay. A tool belt is rather useful, but I think we'll be okay with that for now. I'm relatively sure the bug meat will be uh, devourable for us, but um, I'm pretty sure we still don't like raw food while we are a carnivore. We still like to cook it. At least I believe that's the case. I don't know if there's anything new that has come with us uh, being carnivorous. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, maybe we can. I wouldn't want to risk it though. For the most part, we are pretty good when it comes to resistances, but uh, even so, we want to be careful. That uh, wasp doesn't seem to care about us all that much, and I'm okay with that. How are you looking on charge, vehicle? Probably very good. 84%. That's a whole heap of energy. And uh, yeah, sure enough, we still can't actually charge the vehicle. But that's okay. Um, charge the vehicle, not what I was looking for. Um, arm the vehicle, yes, with uh, our nice shiny turret. 
We'll go ahead and bring those binoc claws back in so we have the use of our hands and we'll see if there's anything for us to drink in here. Uh, well, yes there is, it would seem. We're not going to drink any of those right now. Yeah, we're actually a little limited on our drinking at this point. Our hunger has dissipated for the time being. We could probably rectify that by having something from here. I'm relatively sure that we did bring some MREs with us. We'll just have an all-around look real quick here and just have a look. Yes, indeed we did bring MREs with us. It's still a question of whether or not we'll actually be able to make use of them. I think we will. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and just keep... We have no space for those. Really? Interesting. In our inventory we have no space for them. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and Put those peanuts back in there. <laughs> Anything else that we want to get rid of for the time being? Well, I mean, the spice mead we probably don't want to be holding on to. And that's just on the grass. Hmm. I think I do need to do a little bit of a sort out here. Seeing as uh, we just don't seem to have much space. Ah, of course, because I took off the backpack. Yes, I do remember some things sometimes. Uh, we'll just make sure that we grab anything else. Obviously, the rapier is there. Is that on the seat, though? I think it is. If it's on get items, yeah. Okay, so it's just chilling out in the seat. That's actually okay for now. What is that? I don't know what that is. It looked like there was an item being displayed. Oh, it is the spice meat. We can kind of actually see it. Okay, well, I guess that's kind of helpful because uh, it means that we'll be able to grab it. Grab that meat. Yes, and I'm going to do that little bit of organizing right now. Okay, so a whole heap has been placed within the trunk of the toad. And, uh, yeah, I think somewhere around here might be nice to have a little bit of a sleep before we decide to move on, Bridget. So how about we just close that up for now? make our way on over and it looks like we might have to deal with some rottweilers before we do and we have the energy to do it so let's go bring those bionic claws back out i have been told that uh the heat kind of uh thing that we have active isn't going to work unless it's actually melee where this doesn't count as uh unarmed combat counts as like melee combat so it's not quite what we want well, it is what we want in that we do a whole heap of damage, but uh, yeah, unfortunately we won't be able to use the features of that uh, recharging method. That's kind of okay, because uh, we're able to do a whole lot with these claws that we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Let's see if we can find a front door here. There's a little bit of trouble. I think we're probably going to have to deal with some of it to be able to have a secure and sound sleep. Oh, why'd you have to do that? That's just rude. We've got a cop to deal with across the way before we uh, rest our head. Do you have anything interesting? You do have a bandage. We'll go ahead and take some of those. And I think the ones across the way seem a little bit occupied still with the giant wasp. So we'll just carry on minding our own business. Closing that door behind us, of course, Bridget. We'll just close up these curtains. Okay, we have ourselves an empty house. Fantastic. It's still under construction. Well, we won't be having a nice sleep, not yet, so <laughs> let's move on towards the next. This one is a little bit more... Yeah, open. Do we have any lockpicks? Yes, we do. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and use it. Ah, we were using it. It was just taking time, and apparently it's quite a difficult one for us to lockpick. Yes. It's because we have zero lockpicking skill, as it is a new skill that's just been added in, and we're probably going to damage this further, but that did give us a little bit of experience at lockpicking. A new skill, apparently, so there we go. Alright, immediately, is there anything that we can drink that's in here? Ah, good old pudding. So apparently we can eat this without much recourse, it seems. Which is strange, I thought it would be showing up as a different colour, considering we're a carnivore. Yeah, I guess cheese, well I mean cheese is dairy, I mean it does, uh, hang on, let's just have a quick read of it, I think it said mostly fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, yeah I mean I guess it's an animal product, <laughs> let's see if we feel bad after eating some of that, do we feel sick, 
seemingly no. Apparently, we get a lot of calories from pudding, so we'll go ahead and have you as well. And seemingly, everything is okay. We are very hungry, of course, but other than that, everything's okay. We could just eat a whole heap of raw butter. We'll just eat cheese for now. And we're satisfied. Okay, good. We don't want to get full. Um, it does seem to go over that threshold quite easily. And then, obviously, food-wise, uh, sorry, rather drink-wise, what else do we have in there? It is just the beer, isn't it? And that's going to dehydrate us at the moment. Yeah. Actually, no, it's going to give us a little bit of quench and a little bit of joy. So, sure. We'll go. And we are full after that. All right. Well, we could get um, some extra um, water from the toilets and just kind of try and cook that up we'll see if there's anything interesting downstairs before we do that though okay ah what do we have down here more booze it would seem nothing to ferment have a drink what is in here oh it's homebrew beer okay and dandelion wine so kind of a similar setup to the other i see i see well we don't need anything else specifically a chemistry set. Well, that's kind of okay. You know, if we charge that, we would be able to do a little bit of cooking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. What actually do we have in here? Medium batteries. It's just like a little hobby basement. Nice. Well, the batteries are actually quite useful, so we will take those, thank you. Super glue as well, sure. Everything else is disposable. All right, dusk. Let's leave that behind. And, uh, yeah, we'll try and have ourselves a little bit of a sleep. We'll worry about the kind of water situation once we wake up. We will just uh, bring those claws back in for the time being, and we'll look at having something of a sleep. Bridget, try and stand guard, and we will try to... Uh, continue to fall asleep because we want to make sure that we're actually rested when we go in to uh, fight this thing so we're going to take as long as it takes and finally the warm blanket is enough to lure us into a false sense of security and with that slumber comes and so i'll see you once we awake and we awake and it's nearly nine o'clock and i think Bridget, are you? You're awake at the moment. Okay. Well, we are very hungry, so we could look at having one of the MREs. It looks like we only did take one with us. That's that's okay. And apparently Bridget's going out for the night. Also okay. Um, so let's go activate the heat pack. Heat up the meatballs and marinara sauce. And it looks like we're able to eat that okay. The cracker apparently is inedible plant stuff, so screw that. Uh, <laughs> all right, Dusk. Uh, anything else that we want to take from there? We'll take the accessories and the dessert pack from that. We're still hungry, seemingly so, and what in the hell? C4 explosive. Okay, apparently we dropped that on the ground. I don't remember doing that, but uh, that happened. <laughs> all right, what is it? What's outside, huh? What's got you all spooked? giant wasp maybe maybe uh i wouldn't mind taking some water with us let's be a little bit prepared here so what are we going to take you in uh we are going to use the ammonia perhaps it would be good to you know rinse this thing out before filling it up but what the hell why not we're going to go ahead and pour that on the ground just over there and then go collect ourselves some sweet toilet water okay pour that into the gallon jug thank you very much and we're going to need to try and cook that up so let's head back towards our vehicle for the time being try to avoid the giant wasp for now ah a shocker zombie no trouble for us and we'll go and just jump in here for now um we are still very thirsty, yes, and we don't have any means to cook in here, I'm relatively sure. Yeah, we don't have anything. Um, at least I'm relatively sure. Yeah, it's too dark to craft and we don't have the means to cook anything right this second. We could start a fire. Um, honestly, probably one of the easiest ways for us to do that right now, rather than worry about finding a hot place and heating that up. Let's just head back towards the home just for a moment because a lot of the supplies that we need to actually cook with are going to be in the kitchen 
but primarily what we're going to do is use the oven and just use some wood to get that nice and heated up. We're going to move that out of there before we try and start a fire because, you know, that's it's going to be bad otherwise. And we'll just go turn on this light. It's going to draw a little bit of attention probably. I think there are some points where it could be leaking out. But it shouldn't take us too long to deconstruct this chair and, uh, yeah, just get a little bit of uh, fresh water cooked up for us. And we do have one other thing of bleach there. We're probably going to just grab a hold of that and unload it. Just so we have somewhere to actually... Uh, uh, yeah, put that into. So pour onto the ground over there. And we're going to go and shift all the wood from this square. These planks, we're going to shift them into the oven. And we're going to start a fire in the oven. And it'll be nice and toasty. <laughs> and hopefully we have the means to actually do this here. We do. Clean water. Fantastic. So we do have something that we can boil with nearby. And it turns out we can make a whole heap of it. Fantastic. So 20 minutes, 15 units of clean water. We'll go ahead and do that, get that nice and boiled, and we'll pour that into, first of all, our plastic canteen, and then into one of the gallon jugs. Fantastic, we've got one left over, we'll just go and chuck the empty gallon jug into the fire. And we are done. Let's make our way back outside, Bridget is waiting patiently for us, we're very thirsty, so let's have some of the clean water from the gallon jug, rather than having it from our good old trusty handy dandy thing um it'll come back to me canteen yes that thing all right jump on in here bridget and of course that is our seat <laughs> that's fine and we are ready to roll let's make sure that we're not leaving anything accidentally no we are okay and we're going to be making our way back up around the crash plane on towards stewartstown we're probably going to try and park up relatively close just so that we have access to all of the various weapons and goodies that we've brought with us. So I will see you all once we, uh, well, let's make it around this plane first before I decide to try and skip. Okay. Yep, easy enough. All right. And so with that, I will see you all once we arrive. Okay, we've done a fair amount of narrow zombie dodging making our way back up towards this uh, collapsed tower. And here we are approaching the area in which we uh, kind of got attacked rather severely last time, just up in this direction here. And sure enough, there is one of those strange, unusual things. And they've changed a little bit, these uh, gangrenous fleshes. And I'm really regretting us not having a... Uh, the infrared because that made quite a difference when we were here last time so we, we are here a little bit better off but also with some negatives that we didn't have before so we are going to be going down there without our rapier which i'm okay with but uh, we have a whole heap of things that we need to bring down and a whole heap of things that we don't so once again i am going to do a little bit of inventory management here Honestly, I actually think that we're pretty much done. I I don't think we're going to bring the gallon jug of clean water with us. Because that's going to need to stay here. But pretty much everything else can go down with us. We're going to need some extra batteries just in case of an emergency. And I think we have enough volume for us to be able to take Monster Killer down with us as well. Uh, we do have the shotgun, which um, I am thinking is going to be worth us having but at the same time it makes me very nervous how long it takes us to take weapons out so i think what we probably want to end up doing is maybe have a look at dropping our weapons in one area and then run back to them and pick them up because i think wielding them from our backpack just takes that much longer yeah let's just do a quick experiment We'll go ahead and drop the scar on the ground here and if we go wield let's see it's about 700 moves for us to pick that up what about the one that's on the ground 215 so a lot less so it's probably going to be better for us to drop our weapons once we get in or get down yeah let's go get weapons um First of all, food. We are going to need food while we're down there. I need to make sure that we're actually taking it properly because usually what would happen is that we would have taken... Yeah, we've taken both of those. Okay, good. And uh, just like before, we're going to go ahead and activate that. And we're going to activate the heat pack. Heat up that. So we have a nice warm meal. Have that and the cheese spread. 
that to start with, and then the cheese spread afterwards. Okay, still very hungry. Okay, we're probably not going to worry about dessert. We know we're not going to worry about the cracker. I guess we'll go ahead and have the other one for now then, huh? Heat pack on the entree. Have that. How are we feeling? We're still very hungry. God damn, Dusk. Okay. Well, it seems like we're just going to be very hungry. <laughs> We might just have to accept that. We're going to go drop these other bits and pieces off because we don't need them. We do need the welding mask and we want to make sure that we have, um, well, actually, do we? Is it going to be worth us bringing the torch with us? Maybe. Because uh, it's a very, very useful tool for us to have. I definitely want to be bringing Monster Killer and it looks like we can only really just afford to do that. And then, uh, yeah, as you can see, the ammunition is quite heavy. So we can't take 30. What if we... So this is the armor piercing. Damage is reduced. We don't want that. Igniting flammable sus substances. I like the sound of that. It looks like we can kind of just have enough of that. 10 tracer rounds. Sure. And then what if we went for like maybe two of those? Okay. What about three? I think it's the same deal. Four? No, we can actually go for a few more. What if we went for all of them? Okay, we can. Great. But those are the armor piercing rounds. Uh, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. So, are we happy with what we have? I think so. Do we have the pickaxe? We do. Okay. I'm going to have a look at bringing the torch because it could be useful. <laughs> The electric check hammer is something that we could try and recharge. But the pickaxe kind of just works. Yeah. So, where oh where is our torch then? We'll just do a all around search as that's probably going to be the fastest. And it's the acetylene torch that we're looking for. Okay, alright. Are we going to have enough space for you? Not really. Weight wise, no. So I think we'll probably just stick to what we have for now and hope for the best. We'll take the welding mask down with us because maybe, just maybe, there's a chance that we'll use it. Are oh, we gonna go out that way? <laughs> Fine, we'll leave that door open. As for that gangrenous flesh, I kinda wanna try and start something here. We'll start just doing some single round shots. We need to reload that. Yeah, we need to reload that. I need to be responsible with our magazines. It's not a, oh, we're wielding it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Uh, let's just go ahead and put that back into our inventory, thank you. And let's try and reload them this time. Okay, and we'll reload you. Oh, stop reloading. Ignore. So where did that gangrenous flesh explode from, huh? And we just dropped a medium disposable battery. Interesting that we did that. We seem to occasionally just drop things at random. And I think there's probably a reason for it, but who knows at this stage. <laughs> Uh, so, do we want to just hold on to... Can we collate this? I feel like that would be quite handy if we could. I think it's probably because it's being stored in different pockets. So let's just bring it all together and then bring it back in. That's better. Uh, right. We don't need this extra ammunition. And apparently we just had the back open. Not exactly what we're after. Lots of full metal jacket rounds. Okay, so we've got two full magazines. I think we should be okay. Let's go ahead and wield the scar. Ideally, we'll be able to pop back out. Whether or not we can, I guess we'll see. We're gonna do, go try and take a precise shot here. Okay. It explodes pretty well. Good. We've got a crawling zombie up in that direction. What did you have inside of you? A bottle of Chardonnay. You are one fancy gangrenous flesh. Okay, well, you might hear me having a few sips of coffee throughout this episode because um, I am relatively sleep deprived today, but we're still okay. Should we be doing the most dangerous mission that we've had to date today? Whoa, that's up for debate. <laughs> Needless though, we are going to head in and um, yes, head down. Well, that was one of the locations where it becomes blocked off halfway, so we couldn't go down there, but the elevator shaft was somewhere that we could go down through. 
Um, I'm having a little bit of second thought syndrome hit me at the moment where I'm thinking it's probably going to be worth us bringing all of the extra 556 five, ammunition with us and just keeping it on the ground. Yeah, I got to think that's going to be the best thing for us. So are we going to be able to take all of that ammunition? Because that's quite a bit of ammunition. We'll go ahead and just go off of this here. As you can see, it's a lot of ammo. Um, we can go ahead and just try and shift it onto the ground for now. Shift that onto the pavement. So that should be right beneath us at the moment. Good. Go ahead and shift that again. And we could just go ahead and drag these 6,000 rounds. How long does it take us to move that? Actually, surprisingly, not that long. Um, if I was to activate my bionic claws right now... Alright, we can store that pretty quickly. I'm pretty happy with uh, the timing on that. We'll let that save go off and we'll go ahead and make sure that you stay dead. Uh, we can haul fine with our claws out too. Good. Crawling zombies spotted. There seems to be a few of those around here. They're really the only ones left alive. Okay, we don't want to pick up excess things while we're dragging stuff through here, so we'll try and be wary of that. Uh, right. Which is the right way to go? Hmm. I don't suppose we can make it through down here? No, we can't. And we've spotted a listener. Okay, we'll uh, keep our ears out for that one. Up and around, and then eventually down. Haul that on through there. Alright. Back out this way. Huh. Well, I can haul you across there, good. Just trying to remember my way around this place right now, and uh... Not so easy. I guess we're probably just going to end up picking up a whole heap of things. I'm just going to have to accept that. <laughs> With hauling ammunition, we're going to pick up some other things along the way. As we make our way through. I'm pretty sure it was on the other side of here. And I'm also relatively sure that uh, we've got some more gangrenous flesh throughout here as well. So probably want to put these away for the time being. And go ahead and wield our uh, scar just have that at the ready. Let's turn that off. Okay, haha, <laughs> gangrenous crawler, there you are. Wow, yes, uh, yeah, that was my mistake. I, sh I thought I had stopped hauling. I had not. Uh, so, let's go full automatic here, just for our own safety, and try and get at least 62. Oh boy, toxic gas, that's right. Okay, well, let's make sure your hands are not free. Let's, th let's make sure that we stop hauling and uh, just get the hell out of that gas. Uh, yeah. I am sorry, Bridget. That's, uh... And, yep, the gas is spreading. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, it doesn't seem to be going any further than that right now. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Feel like maybe we should have had masks on to come and get to here. We're so prepared. We are so prepared for this. Okay. All right. Pop back out here. Bridget, you follow. We're hearing lots of brushing coming from down there. All right. So, yes, we are badly poisoned. It's going to be causing pain. Uh, pain that we don't really seem to be suffering from that much at the moment, though. So, that's okay. We'll just have to try and not let those things get into our face in the future because, uh, yeah, that's not fun. Hmm. It's probably worth us reloading the scar now. There we go. And we'll reload that once we get in range of our big ammo pile. All right. We seem to be okay. Where is our big ammo pile? Uh, down here somewhere. Uh, right. I think you're probably... <laughs> you're in one of these piles here. Actually, I think it's this one here. No? Ah, it's that one there. Fantastic. Reload you. And, uh, yeah, let's just get hauling again for a second or two. I should probably be a little bit more wary when we hear footsteps in the future. You know what? Actually, screw it. Let's just scout ahead. Make sure that we can actually find this before we, uh, get ourselves too badly injured. Alright. A little bit of a pit there. Not the pit we seek, though. Hello, zombie. From memory... It was around this kind of side somewhere. Difficult to get to for sure, but uh, ooh, hello gangrenous flesh. I don't think that we had to go through you last time. At least I don't think so. 
Yeah, I don't think that's showing us the entrance. I could be wrong. We've planked up over there as well. I guess we could have a quick, a quick look at that. Just make our way through. Nope, nothing down here. Files. And other debris. Hmm. Where, oh where? Uh, it's gotta be top right then. Just looking at other potential points of entry. Right, big open space. Yeah. This is where the arm of the thing was. And yep, there we go. That's where we gotta go down. Okay, so... Let's go back and get our ammunition and try and make our way around here. I don't think we can pick up the ammunition. I think it's way, way, way too much for us to actually hold on to. I know I've gone a very roundabout way to get back to where we were, but... You know, needs must. Okay, where are you? You are currently right there. Okay. Well, still think this is probably going to be the fastest way. <laughs> Once we get through here, I'll just do a little bit of a sort out. Okay, that's that zombie again. Okay, so all that we want from over here is the ammunition. Thank you. Excellent. We're a lot faster moving now. All right, we're gonna pick up a little bit of crap. Gangrenous flesh has been spotted, but that's okay. We'll just mine our own business. And we're still hauling this thing, right? I think so. We're not hauling any items, okay. <laughs> Where did I drop you? Back here? Oh uh, no, all the way back there. Ah, uh, of course, I see. Well, you're making this a little difficult for us, Bridget, but that's all right. We forgive you this time. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Finally making it through. Again, picking up more stuff along the way. More than we need, but that's right. So, can we cross this rubble? Yes, we can. And, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go back to be able to try and grab it. So there are two different points. We hurt our leg a little bit there. That's okay. We'll just go shift those across uh, to that square there. Okay. And uh, we are going to have to hold on to it. Or rather, can we drop it down off the ledge? Not sure. This is this is a, a bit of a leap of faith for us, really. Uh, we are going to have the rifle out, because I feel like that's probably the best thing for us to actually have at the ready. Uh, we'll go ahead and reload this magazine, make sure that it is reloaded. You don't have any 223 Remington rounds, that's fine. We'll go ahead and reload it with the other ammunition then. Okay, ignore that. What is that? A hazy cloud drifting up from below. Mmm, that's not good. That's really not good. Yeah. I'm feeling like we're going to need some proper protection down there. And we don't have that currently. We do have a survivor's mask, but that's all the way back home. That's a long way to go. Do I want to go down there? Without it? Not really. <laughs> but we also might be able to navigate part of it. We need, we need to know if we can go down. That's the main thing, really. We're going to go pick up all of that. And we're gonna look at going down this thing. Bridget. If you can follow, follow. Hang on, it's too dangerous to mess with. We can't climb down it? What if we were to use the grappling hook? I don't I don't think we can use that in this instance. I mean a grappling hook will. Useful to keep yourself safe from falls. We'll go ahead and wield it for now and see. I don't want to just walk off the edge here though. 
but I'm not sure what our options are. We'll go ahead and store our scar in there. Um, okay, we didn't pick up all the ammunition. Eh, uh, you know what, that's probably okay. <laughs> I do want to check this as well to make sure that it's the same deal. I think it probably is. I mean, obviously. Ah, sheer drop halfway down. You climb using your grappling hook. Okay. Can I do the same thing here as well? No, it's just too dangerous. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Well, I guess that's the route that we're going to go with, huh? Because we can actually potentially haul this stuff downstairs with us. Sheer drop halfway down. Well, if it's a sheer drop, I think for Bridget, it is going to be safer for her to just guard this position. Oh boy. Yes. And not sure if it liked that. And wow. We've made it down. Monster spotted. Stop moving items. Yes. We are on a square with a monster and there's a corrosive zombie within our sight. Those are flesh walls. How nice. And that's the corrosive zombie. How? Yeah, fantastic. Good. Well, I tell you what, first thing we're going to do is... Uh, <laughs> Oh boy. Well, it looks like we can actually go up here. Rope leading up. Holy crap, the grappling hook actually freaking worked. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, uh, flesh walls, great. This is good stuff. Let's go pop those claws out and uh, see if we can move. That we can. There's a feral predator through here. We very quickly and forcefully kill the things that are around us. And uh, there's a zombie master down here and a gangrenous impaler. Fantastic. How lovely. Now, I wonder how quickly we'd be able to get that door open and throw a grenade of some kind out there. Because I think if we can get the door closed, we'll be okay. If we can't close the door, then we're screwed. So let's, uh, oh boy. <laughs> Wow, we got ourselves some skeletal juggernauts down here. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. And we got a bleeding gangrenous crawler. I think they might actually be fighting each other. Can I open this for a second? Hmm, I feel like that was a bad idea. Oh boy. Well, the walls seem to be ignoring us, but I think they would be stopping things from kind of moving through here to a degree. Let's see if we can go ahead and slash out towards this thing in front of us. We can, but of course it is toxic to us. Fantastic. Yep, I think there's going to be a whole heap more of that. Now, we are poison resistant, so I don't know whether or not the poison is going to be stacking with us and if it's going to be affecting us that much right now it doesn't seem to be overly affecting us and i guess that's maybe okay i would love to be able to see a little bit better so i'm thinking maybe just for a second how about we just climb back up this rope and just wait here oh boy yep there's a uh, a lot more explode mm, yep how hey bridget bridget how about we just uh uh yeah move into an area which we are going to be in the gas anyway fantastic good Good. Let's, yeah, let's go outside. Oh boy. Let's have a bit of a breather out here. Bridget. Ah, uh, she's not going to go through the gas, I think. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. I feel like having a good mask would go well right now. And we don't have the survivor gas mask with us. At least I'm pretty sure we don't. The responsible part of me thinks that it would be worth us going back to the vehicle to make sure that we don't. Bridget, you're still a little poisoned. I mean, the poison really doesn't seem to be affecting us that much. We've got a little bit of pain coming on. I mean, we've got poison of our own, you know? <laughs> uh, what's the easiest way for us to make it through here? I think we actually brought most of the um, stuff down with us. And by stuff, I mean ammunition. Yeah, quite possibly. Okay, so let's just step through here for now and find the fastest route outside. Hmm. Navigation through this is not my strong suit. It is a bloody maze in here. I honestly think it would just be faster for us to just go around. I mean, I know this is the route that we came through before, but I swear there is a way to 
get outside. I mean, I can kind of see the door there. Actually, I think there is. I was just being... Oh, no, maybe there isn't. Ah, uh, through here. Good. Okay. Uh, stop by the wall. Okay. Yeah, Bridget, you're gonna have a real hard time in there. So, do we have anything in the way of filter masks? I No, we don't, because uh, we went and actually grabbed some, but we don't have any uh, cartridges for them. Yep. We don't have any of those cartridges. Okay, well, you know what? We we're kind of making it through there. To a degree. We haven't taken any actual damage to ourselves yet. As long as Bridget doesn't go down there, we'll be okay. I don't think we can guarantee that. She is on guard mode at the moment, so she should theoretically be staying where she is, but, uh, well, Bridget will do what Bridget wants to do. <laughs> okay. Well, across the rubble then. And it looks like that gas is just flowing out of here at the moment. The trouble with the gas is that we just can't see anything. And I don't know how Dusk is going to be fighting a freaking Hulk. Uh, a skeletal juggernaut, rather. I'm going to duck back down here for a second. So it looks like it's all kinds of bad news through there. Um, we might be able to get away with um, throwing a grenade through here. The Barnard Claws are preventing us from doing a whole heap of things. That's fine. Yeah, I think I think throwing something big and explosive through the other side should be worth it. <laughs> so let's go into these here. Turn that off. Put the claws away. Let's go ahead and wield one of the grenades. Uh, let's go for just one of the regular grenades. All right. And yes, we are starting to feel sick from, yeah, inhaling all of this mess. Oh boy. Yeah, no, they're right here. I don't think I can throw the grenade over the top. Worst case scenario, we can just climb back up the rope, right? I think so. Let's go ahead and activate the grenade. The grenade is activated. We're going to go ahead and throw the grenade. Try and throw it back here. No idea if that worked. Close the door. Climb up here. Wait and listen for an explosion. Your ears ring? Alright, there was some kind of explosion. <laughs> Let's step back into the gas. Okay, didn't seem to do all that much at all. If anything. The boomer is down, the flesh wall is fine. The Krovs' zombie's a freaking nightmare. But maybe we can shoot it from here. I think we're gonna have to start off by just popping the claws real quick. And uh, taking out the boomer. Okay, cool. You're right here in front of us. How quickly can we kill you? In one hit? Not quite. In two hits? Alright. I hate corrosive zombies. Okay. We took hits. We're in a lot of pain. Pain's probably our biggest uh, enemy at the moment. So much gas. Well, the whole thing is that they actually gave us a suit to be in here, to go down into here. And uh, it's been such a long time since we actually got the mission that I uh, <laughs> have neglected that very important message. Uh, not as dangerous to Dusk as we've stated but still dangerous enough. More than anything, it just obscures our vision. And that's the biggest problem at the moment. The poison isn't actually damaging us, but it's stopping us from seeing our potential enemies that are down there. So, we need to deal with the pain. We don't want to get addicted to painkillers again. <laughs> because we're pain resistant and we can kind of see that the pain is slowing us, start dissipating. We are going to have some codeine though. We're not going to go for morphine because that's going to be, uh, yeah, a little bit too severe. Alright, that's starting to pop on back down. We can already see that our our wounds are starting to heal. We're going to help our arm along a little bit by applying one of those bandages, and that's just to our right arm. Because thankfully, regeneration means that we heal really, really fast for Cataclysm. Yes, and our pain is already getting down to a manageable level. That's good. We're just going to have to deal with being badly poisoned. We can, we can breathe the stuff, surprisingly enough. 
Okay. Well, our ammunition's up the top here if we need it. Let's just go ahead and duck back down here. Okay, well we brought the guns, so I feel like we should probably try to use them, huh? <laughs> On the worst offenders. But at the same time, I know that we are more than capable with our hands. It's just a, a question of how, <laughs> how capable are we. I kind of like being here because it does give us the opportunity to back the hell out should we need to. It's just, uh, that's a whole heap of not fun. The boom is okay. The master is probably what's made the skeletal juggernaut that's down there. And, uh, I feel like whipping out monster killer might be the right move here. So let's go ahead, pop back up here for a second. Put those claws away. We seem to be fine for power. And we're going to go ahead and wield monster killer. Ah, uh, we're going to have to take off the buckler to be able to do that that's okay monster killer here we go duck back down there all right it's a pretty crappy angle monster killer is empty all right <laughs> let's go ahead and feed monster killer first then uh where is our 50 caliber rounds why don't we have them okay do you not work Reload? Hang on. That was reading light. You need a compatible magazine. Does- is there not a magazine in Monster Killer at the moment? You've got to be kidding me. Okay. <laughs> it's- it's- it better be back at the vehicle because I know that we had that thing. God damn it. Okay, well, you know what? I think the fastest way around is just going around this building. So let's just take a walk, because going through that maze is, uh, frustrating. Watch out for the gangrenous one there. Hey, it's one of our arrows. Back when, <laughs> well, they were a little bit more useful. They certainly aren't as much anymore. We'll just outpace these two for now, and then deal with them once we make it up towards our vehicle. Yeah, you're still hanging around, aren't you? Let's do that. Definitely nice and easy for us to get those out. Well, we haven't handled this with poise. <laughs> no siree. But Monster Killer needs a compatible magazine to reload. I cannot believe that. We don't have one for it. That's potentially a problem. I guess we'll all find out how much of a problem it's going to be once we actually make it back down there. But, uh... Yeah. Oh boy. And we're back down beneath and things aren't actually as bad as I thought they were going to be. I mean, yes, there is a skeletal juggernaut in here with us and uh, a feral predator who is uh, currently aware of our location. And uh, is that more than one skeletal juggernaut or it's just you? It's just you. How far do we want to push down here? They're not all aware of us. I think we could maybe push on for a little bit further, but I think we are going to actually need some of the equipment that we originally wanted. And uh, that's going to mean a little bit of backtracking. We'll see if we can avoid that for now. We'll see if we can avoid any of this for now. The skeletal juggernaut hits the flesh wall, but is stopped by its thick hide. They have been trying to smash through this stuff, so the flesh wall is considered to be an enemy to them, I'm assuming. Your head pains you. Why? Poisoned head. Badly poisoned head. Yes. Hmm. Okay. It is. Yes, it is. Po it, yeah. Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know if I can fire over at any of them. We can try, we can try and move out, try and go after the feral predator here. Do we want to do that while we got the backpack on? I don't know. It's not too much encumbrance. Let's move around for now, create a little bit of trouble. Hi there, you've grabbed us. We'll deal with you. 
predator is close and we have a juggernaut that's moving in on us. So, question, how do we stand against the juggernaut? Oh, it is thrusting claws at us at the moment and it slashed our head. We are currently bleeding. Okay, we hit, but we do no damage. All right, let's go ahead and just start freaking running back up here and uh, quickly bandage that head if we can. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Bridget, look, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, we get the hell out of here for now. And we get the things that we actually are going to need down there. Namely, proper gas protection. We should still have that back at home. There's part of me that thinks that because of nested, we might have lost some of the the filter cartridges. I know that we had quite a few though, so I wouldn't be, you know, against us kind of allowing them back. Uh, we will call out to Bridget and ask her to follow for now. Are you going to be able to follow us past that rubble? Yes, you are. Well, pop on outside with us. You've completed your task. Okay, well done. Congratulations. Oh dear, we are poisoned rather badly. And not having Monster Killer kind of sucks. I really did think that we had a magazine in there already, but apparently we just, we did not. So yeah, there's that. Well, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and... All right. That held for a long time there, but I think it's okay. Thank you. <sighs> yes. Well, this isn't going to look like a lot on camera. It's going to seem like more uh, <laughs> to me. <laughs> It'll be more of a time lapse for the rest of you. But we're going to have to bring this thing back home. Um, yeah. We have had a taste of what's waiting for us down there, and it doesn't taste very good. Yeah. Well, what's the fastest way back home from here? It's probably going across the water. Yeah, it's a pretty straight shot, right? Gives us a chance to test out the capabilities of the toad on the water yet again. Sure, let's go ahead, control multiple other trunks, turn on those headlights, we're going to get out of town, and you know what? We are going to do a little bit of a time lapse now. So, let's get that music rolling. Dusk. We will see you on the other side. Yes, that is a shocker brute. Probably good you not seeing us right. Oh boy, um, we don't like that. So, let's just go turn around. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and, um... We'll have a look at our map one more time before we try and decide, yes, indeed, there is a way out of here. So with that, let's let that time lapse begin. Just like that, we've made it home and really we only lost a headlight. But you know what I realized? We caught a freaking fish. We have a living fish in the back of the toad. <laughs> so somehow it must have swum up through the bottom here and it's now trapped inside. Well, I hope you enjoyed that unorthodox end to an episode. We have a little bit to grab from here and the next we'll have another time lapse traveling back and more than likely the easiest way for us to travel is probably going to be just using this river here. I 
don't think we can go under the bridge, but we can sure as hell go around it. It is covered in mines though, we need to remember that. That might be a potential problem, but honestly I think that's probably the fastest way. We Going overland just seems to take so much more time and effort, so that's the direction that we're going to go in in the next, so I hope you'll be able to join me then. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like or a comment to let me know if you enjoyed the show. It was mayhem, absolute mayhem, and I probably won't record when I'm in this state again because, well, bad things happen, huh? Regardless, I've been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.